the organizations and individuals uh, that led the constitutional reform movement are many. And many of those organizations are really the home uh, where much of the activity went on, uh, from where came all kinds of contribution and sacrifices. There are many, and this ground happens to be one of them. Why did we convene here in 2010 when there were other celebrations that were going on and there was an official celebration? And that was because we wanted to come back and commemorate with our colleagues who had been in the struggle and to do it in our own modest way. On the day the Constitution was promulgated in 2010, there was the first warning on the commitment of the government when we saw that uh, President Bashir of Sudan was among the invitees. And this, at least to the reformers, was a bad, bad, bad news about the new regime. It was an early indication. That afternoon, we went into action. There was a demo downtown. There were placards produced very rapidly here for us to do the first protest after the promulgation of the Constitution, the same afternoon. And then we got back here to celebrate our victory. So, seven years have gone by. We've done this every year to have a reflection um, this uh, placards you see behind me, they were from 2015. They, get, they come out at every commemoration, 2016, 2017. And nothing has changed. It shows you the type of graft we have. At least seven categories, if not more, and that those graphs are thrill rife. And I'm sure these will be coming out for the next few years to adorn the tent. <laughs> so that shows things are changing, but they're also changing fast in some ways and very slow in the other ways. So that's all from me for now, and back to Regina, our moderator. Thank you.